Hi everyone, I'm John from Proteic Labs and this is session number four, defining material properties. This video session will teach you as how do we define material properties in ANSYS. To perform an analysis, you need to define the material properties of the model. This video helps you to learn as to how to apply material properties on solid part and even in assembly. So let's get started. After completing the session, you will be able to understand the engineering data workspace. Work with ANSYS libraries. Create and add new materials in the ANSYS libraries. Assign different materials to geometries. Adding new materials to the engineering data workspace. So, let's get started. In this video, you will learn as how to add steel material and its properties to the part, and you will also learn as how to assign these properties on part geometry. The properties which we are going to assign on steel material are density, 7,900 kilograms per meter cube, Young modulus, 1.9 into 10 to the power 11 Pascal, Poisson's ratio, 0 0.25, tensile strength, 2.1 into 10 to the power 8 Pascal. All these properties will be assigned to the existing project named as AN003. Thank you, John, for setting up initial groundwork for material assignation and learning. Now, we'll open an existing project by clicking on the Open button from the standard toolbar and browse to the folder where we have saved the project. Now we need to add Static Structural Analysis System and you need to share the geometry created in the AN003 component system with an analysis system to assign material to it. Click on Analysis Systems Plus button and double click or drag and drop the Static Structural Analysis to Project Schematic window. Now you need to drag AN003 geometry and drop it in Static Structural Analysis Systems geometry. Double click on engineering data to add new material to the library. Now click on the click here to add new material edit box and enter steel as the name of the new material and press enter. Here we need to add steel properties. Expand the physical properties toolbox and double click on density under the physical properties toolbox. Density is added to the properties of outline window that is displayed for the steel material. Type 7900 in the value field and press enter button. Expand the Linear Elastic Toolbox and double-click on Isotropic Elasticity on the Linear Elastic Toolbox. Expand the Isotropic Elasticity node under the Property field. Five more rows are displayed under the Isotropic Elasticity node. Now. Click on the down arrow in the value field to display drop-down menu. Select the option called Young's Modulus and Poison's Ratio from the drop-down list if it is not already selected. Enter 1.9e plus 11 in the Young's Modulus value field. After entering the value, select Enter button.
enters 0.25 in the poison's ratio value field. After entering the value, press enter button. Next, pan the strength toolbox window and then double click on the tensile yield strength node gets added to the properties of outline window. Now enter the tensile strength value 2.1e plus 11. After entering the value, press the enter button. Now the material is ready for assignation in the engineering data workspace. We'll assign this material to the model in the design modeler window. Click on the return to project button from the standard toolbar. The project schematic window gets displayed with the geometry component system and the static structural analysis system. Click on the refresh project button in the standard toolbar to refresh the project. Now double click on the model cell of the static structural analysis system. It displays the mechanical window with preloaded part AN003. In the tree outline, expand geometry and select solid node under geometry. Under the details of solid, click on right arrow on the right side of assignment field. A drop down list is displayed. Select the steel option from the drop down list. With this selection, new material gets assigned to the model. After assigning steel material to the project AN003, you need to save the model before you exit the ANSYS Workbench session. Applying Material Properties on Assemblies In this video, you will learn as to how to apply different materials to different components of the assembly. We are going to apply three types of materials on an assembly, which are aluminum alloy, gray cast iron, and stainless steel. So, let's get started. First, click on OK button to close the default welcome window. Now, drag and drop static structural analysis system to the project schematic window. Rename the system. Right click on static structural, then select rename option and enter the new name. Press the enter key once done. Click on the Save button in the standard toolbar. The Save as dialog box is displayed. Browse to the location and create a new folder. Here, we have already created a folder with the name of the session 4. Open the folder and then save the project with the name MP003 and select Save button. Now, you need to import the assembly step file. This assembly file can be downloaded from the ProDAC Labs resources database at www.prodac.in. Right click on geometry, select import geometry and then select browse option. A pop-up window appears. Select the E100-043 underscore ASM dot STP file from the library. Then choose Open button. Now the assembly file is loaded into geometry. Double click on the engineering data cell in the static structural analysis system. Now the engineering data workspace is displayed. Now choose the engineering data sources toggle button from the standard toolbar.
Click on the general materials under the data source column. The materials include in the general materials library are displayed in the outline window. Click on plus button on the right of the aluminium alloy. Now the aluminium alloy is added to the library. Similarly, add grey cast iron and stainless steel. Click on the return to project button which directs to the project schematic window. Next, double click on the model cell in the static structural analysis system. The mechanical window is displayed with the assembly model loaded into it. Expand the geometry node in the tree outline. All components available in the assembly are displayed under the geometry node. This assembly consists of 9 parts. For first parts, that is E100-019, we need to assign aluminium alloy as material. So now select E100-019 part. Under the details of E100-019, click on right arrow on the right side of assignment field. A drop down list is displayed. Select aluminium alloy from the list. Similarly, select remaining E100-019 parts one by one from the tree outline and assign aluminium alloy material to each one of them. Now select E100-028 and E100-035 parts one by one and assign structural steel. Similarly, select E100-040 and E100-036 parts one by one and assign grey cast iron and stainless steel material respectively. Now we have assigned three different materials on different parts of one assembly. Now save the project and close the mechanical window. After assigning materials to different components of part E100-043 step file, you need to save the files before you exit the ANSYS Workbench session. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.